Hello, Pisces viewers. Sorry, this reading might be a little bit shorter than my usual readings, but I will be back to my regular schedule on the 15th. And I'll be posting my, reg my you know, 15 to 30 minute long videos as usual. Please just bear with me. So we'll see what the cards want to say. As always, you can get a private reading from me if you want. Just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is in the description box below this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment if it resonates. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's far, hard for me to fully trust you. Yeah, it feels like someone might have lied about you to this person. This person might have vented to their friends about you. And their friends could be friends or like a parent of theirs or someone or someone in their family that doesn't like you. Someone that could be jealous of you. It feels like there was some kind of gossip or some kind of rumors and lies here that took place. Maybe just, I feel like, it feels like a misunderstanding or it feels like jealousy or someone that's like, like a mama's boy or daddy's girl or something where it's like some, maybe someone in their family or a friend lied. I feel like they might have just opened up and vented to the wrong person. Like maybe they have a friend that's jealous and they told them about you and their friend got jealous and kind of sabotaged it and maybe put ideas in their head. Maybe they thought you were using them for money or sex or something of that sort. It just feels like other people kind of got in the way of this connection here. Because it's like this person's afraid. This person's afraid that you're going to break their heart, but it's like, why are they afraid? They're afraid because of gossip and because of rumors, because of something that someone else said or did. It could also be like a third-party karmic situation, like a karmic that's competing with you. It feels like this person has insecurities, so I don't even know if there's much that you could have done. I feel like you could also be like, maybe you, you're... Like, this could be someone that's, like, a stripper or someone that, like, is in the adult entertainment industry or someone that, um, like, you have, like, a certain career or, like, a certain reputation and maybe people can't always see past that. So maybe they had some, like, people in their life that were just jealous and, like, they didn't understand that energy and they just made assumptions. Because I feel like, it feels like this person is insecure and so it feels like someone played on this person's insecurities because this person feels like you're out of their league. They feel like you're too good for them. They feel like they're just like they're nervous and kind of shy around you. So it was easy for someone to kind of get in their head and convince them that, you know, that you weren't to be trusted. I feel like this could also be like a third party situation, like a karmic that wanted them back. Maybe this karmic convinced them that no one would ever love them and that you must just be using them or you must just be, you know, playing with their head and then then that's probably not solid. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. I love you. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. So yeah, it feels like in the physical, there's not like a whole lot going on here. It feels like there's like miscommunication, like they've distanced themselves. You might not even understand why they've distanced themselves. It's really stupid because some of, for some, it's like you might have like a mutual friend of yours or a friend of theirs, like someone that just lied about you or someone that put ideas in their head out of, you know, competing with you, you know, jealousy, insecurity, whatever it might've been. And it's almost like your spirit is communicating with this person. And it's like your soul, your spirit is over there, like showing up in their dreams, trying to tell them like, hey, this is like a soulmate or a twin flame connection. Like I'm right here. I'm open to you. Please don't see things in just a 3D, 3D perspective. Like, please realize that there's more to this. Don't listen to the rumors. Don't listen to the jealous people. You know, and with true love, you're going to have jealous people. It just, it happens with true love. You know, people don't, it's like they don't understand that kind of love. They don't understand that kind of connection sometimes. You know, sometimes when you have true love, it's like you start changing the person too. And not even intentionally, but it's like, you know, true love can change you a lot. I feel like sometimes people are just very logical. Or they're very closed off, very numb, very set in their ways. And then true love comes along and all of a sudden it's like they're adventurous. They're romantic. They're open. They're honest. They're vulnerable. 
and you know their friends and family might see this energy and be like what the hell is that like you've never been a believer in twin flames before you've never been a believer in the spiritual before you've never wanted to travel like that before you've never been open and honest and romantic before and they get freaked out because they don't understand these changes they don't understand what's happening to their friend or their son or daughter or sister or brother so they get jealous and insecure and they put thought, they put these, you know, fears in this person's head because they want your person to go back to being, you know, controllable and predictable. They want to, you know, people are afraid of change. People, you know, they it's like this person's family or friends want to keep this person in this little easy to understand box. They want them to stay the way that they always have been. And I feel like when this person met you, they started changing in a really positive way. But someone around this person wasn't used to them making these changes. And so they, you know, tried to pull this person back to being the person they'd always been. You know, they tried to make this person keep being logical because they they weren't used to this person being spiritual and open. For some, I feel like maybe you taught this person about twin flames or soulmates or other realms, psychic work. And it's like maybe they told maybe they told the wrong person about that. And this person was like, OK. She seems nuts, like, you don't need that in your life. Or he, you know, it's he or she seems nuts, like, you don't want that energy. Like, someone just put something in their head, it feels like. Like, because this person already had, like, a this is too good to be true kind of mentality. And then I feel like this other person, you know, just came along and just kind of amplify those insecurities and these those fears that this person has because it feels like they really do love you like they want to ask you out but they're afraid that you're going to say no yeah because they're aware that you're telepathically communicating there's a lot of telepathic there's a lot going on in the 5d here but not a lot going on in the 3d but they're aware that you're telepathically communicating you guys have a very deep spiritual bond but maybe they're not used to that. So maybe it's like maybe they, you know, had this psychic awakening or they had this psychic energy come in and maybe they don't know other people in their lives that are witches or psychics or, you know, that have the kind of energy you do. So it's like they talk to the wrong person and this person just made them think the worst about you. And I feel like this person's still aware that you guys are psychically communicating, but like they don't have, the, it's like they know not to talk to this person about it now because this person doesn't understand it and this person puts ideas in their head. But I don't think they know, I don't think they understand the energy though. You know what I mean? I feel like they don't have people in their life that they could talk to about this. So it's almost like they're aware that you're showing up in their dreams. They're aware that you guys have this spiritual bond. They're aware that you guys are telepathically communicating but they're not familiar with it. They don't understand the energy. They don't understand what's going on. Part of them thinks that they might just be going crazy. Like they don't they don't understand this. You know, I don't think they have people in their life that are open to this kind of stuff like you are. There's so much that they want to say to you. Yeah, they're afraid. I, I feel like they let someone get in their head and now they're afraid that you're not going to forgive them for it. I've grown up. I'm ready for commitment. Hmm. I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. Yeah, some of them are actually meditating on you and trying to manifest you back. I had a huge epiphany. Yeah, they had an epiphany that they just can't handle being apart from you any longer. I feel like they're going through a psychic awakening is the kind of energy that I'm getting here. Is someone new coming into your life? Hmm. Feels like they had some kind of epiphany. Like it kind of feels like they went through a phase where they actually did listen to this toxic person, where they did kind of shut you out, where they did think that you were too good to be true and that they either thought you were using them for money or sex or they thought that you were going to hurt them or they thought that maybe maybe like for those of you that like believe in, you know, um, like other realms and witchcraft and psychic work, it's like maybe you opened up to this person and they opened up to someone else about that stuff too and they opened up to the wrong person. And so they, you know, this person put the idea in their head that you're just crazy and you're delusional and that they should stay away from you. Like you don't sound like a safe person to be around. And I feel like for a while this, it's sad, but I feel like for a while your person was very insecure and submissive and your person listened to this, this fake friend or fake family member that wanted to control and manipulate them and keep them stuck and keep them, you know, in their comfort zone and keep them, you know, being the person they've always been. 
but you know this person wants to change and their spirit guides want them to change and level up but the insecure people in their life don't want them to level up they want them to stay and be the person they've always you know that they've always been and so it just feels like god it's such it's such a strange energy it just feels like they really did shut you out for a while but it feels like now they're starting to have these dreams about you so they're starting to realize the truth of the things that you told them. And so they are wanting to, you know, there's a lot going on in the 5D. I feel like there's like a psychic awakening this person's going through. And it just feels like they're having these epiphanies now and they're realizing that you're not crazy, you're not toxic, you're not whatever this person said you were. You're you're a very genuine person. And now this person feels you pulling away. And they want to fight for you. They're detaching from whoever this was that was keeping them away from you. Yeah, their feelings for you are stronger than they'd let on. They're not sure if they still have a chance, though, because they listen to the wrong people. You come off uninterested and detached. They're not sure if they still have a chance because they messed it up. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. It's like they didn't understand this energy. I'm jealous. I'm afraid you're already, I'm afraid you already are that you will end up dating someone else. They want to be open and honest and vulnerable with you. That They want to tell you their secrets. They want to tell you what went wrong, why they got distant. There's still these fears, though. It's really, ugh. Yeah, there's some, there could be, it could be like something with an actual child. But I also see this as just child, just people around them that separated you guys. There's no one like you. I realize now that I'm not going to be able to find a love like ours with someone else. I looked for love in all the wrong places. Yeah, they really let people get in their head. They really let people pull them back to their comfort zone. But now they're going through the psychic awakening is what I'm feeling. And, and no one can stop it anymore. You know, they're they're trying to come forward now. I feel like they really want to talk to you about the, the whole psychic process too. Because they don't have people in their life that understand this energy. They want to under... They have questions for you is what I'm getting. They want to reach out. They're just searching for the right words to say because, you know, like I said, they really, they know that they messed up. They really just, they don't know what to say. They don't, they know that there's no excuse for it. They um, feel like for some also, they don't want you, like if this is like a mother or father or like their best friend or someone that got in their head, they don't, they want to be honest with you, but they also don't want you to hate this person because it's like if they want a future with you, at some point, you're going to meet their parents. And again, only take it if it resonates because there's, for some, it's parents. For others, it's a brother or sister. It could be a best friend. It could be a counselor even. You know what I mean? It's, it doesn't have to be parents. But for some, I feel like maybe, you know, they want you to meet this person at some point and they don't want you to hate this person. So that's why they're not telling you what happened. That's why they're not telling you about these rumors and stuff because they don't want you to judge this person. But um, yeah, that's what I have for you guys. As always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is below in the description box below this video. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Any donations are appreciated. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. If this resonates, maybe someone on your, on your page needs to hear this. Um, thank you guys for watching.